Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Intuitive Envisions 1111. Uh, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, tuning in, uh, welcome. So this is going to be a general love and romance horoscope uh, with your uh, soulmate or twin flame, or if you're looking for someone new, uh, whoever the person is you're looking for to get information or you're just inquiring. But this is for uh, your horoscope for love and romance or March uh, 2020. Um, however, if you happen to catch this reading outside of this timeline, Pisces, um, that means that it, and, and, and it resonates with you, then that means it was meant for you to hear at that time. Okay. So since this is general, it's not going to resonate with every Pisces out there. So please keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings. So if you'd like to, uh, book a personal private reading with me, that information is going to be below in the description with the link. Um, also all the decks that I'm using here, most of the items you see, including the jellyfish lamp, which the jellyfish are not real. Um, my Instagram information, if you want to support the channel, um, all the, that information is going to be below in the description with the link. So most of your questions, um, are going to be, the answers are going to be below in the description. Okay. With the link. All right. So first I'm going to go ahead and get your, uh, general, um, energy surrounding you in love and romance Pisces for this uh, period and then I'm going to go ahead and see what's the current situation uh, with you and your person so also um, for those of you new to this journey uh, when you hear me use terms like divine masculine or divine feminine um, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender so you can be a divine feminine and be a mass uh, a male or vice versa you know, just take it how it resonates, if it resonates. And also I use terms like uh, he, she, uh, they, this person, your person. That could be you I'm talking about or um, your person or someone close in the equation, okay? Even when I'm saying this, when I'm pointing to it, okay? So just take it how it uh, applies to your uh, situation, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and finish these, shuffling these cards, and then I'll shuffle my last deck as I go. And I also shuffle the cards um, before I get on to camera, just so you guys know. All right. So let's get into this, Pisces. So for love and romance, the energy surrounding you, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. So this could be actually warning signs, or this could be just saying, look for signs. So we'll see why this is here um, in a moment. These are the lover's oracle cards. We have romance, Cupid, Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay. So there's a, a energy around you. Possibly maybe, um, is telling you to pay attention that there are some, um, signs to pay attention that romance is uh, coming your way. This is the energy representing you Pisces. This is the spirit of the animal oracles. And we have orc orca. Well, adventure dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song, manifest your travel dreams, attempt the great journey with confidence, be loyal, uh, friends and families are your treasures, uh, be brave, you are more powerful than you know. I, I feel like one of the other signs got this, I'm just not really sure which one, it could have been an air sign, um, but this is like, you're in this um, energy of being adventurous and, you know, maybe you're wanting to travel, but you are... Um, wanting to be around uh, family and friends, but you're also in this energy of being brave. So you might be wanting to venture off into something new when it comes to love. So let's go ahead and see what's the current situation between you and your person, uh, Pisces. This is the Kipper cards. So we have false person. So this is, um, it could be somebody that is hiding, um, someone you know hiding information or somebody it could be in the background kind of watching um you have the eight here this could involve um, a twin flame connection uh, but we'll see why that's there these are the mystic moon oracles and we have compromise so somebody is like um what i'm getting is somebody is hiding compromise like no longer wanting to compromise this could be you or your person or this could be you know a mutual energy these are the golden art um 
Nouveau Tarot. And then we have um, the Ace of Cups. Um, this could be you. Um, this could be about um, focusing on the self. Um, it can be an offer, but I'm seeing that something is being hidden here. Um, this is, uh, it could be another water sign, uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this is about emotion um, and uh, overflowing um, emotion. And this could be towards the self, like you're no longer wanting to compromise or somebody's not wanting to compromise uh, with you. These are the Psychic Tarot. I'm just going to shuffle these around a little bit. And then we have truth. Okay. So what I'm getting is someone is hiding the truth here. Okay. Truth about a relationship. Maybe compromise the relationship um, as well. Uh, maybe you was involved with some type of emotional uh, relationship. But this is also the judgment card. Okay. So some of you guys could be um, uh, clearing out some type of uh, karmic uh, cycle or past. Um, uh, there is um, what I'm getting here is somebody might be wanting to uh, reconcile. Maybe another person isn't because we have this false person. Um, someone is definitely hiding the truth or hid the truth about uh, a relationship is what I'm getting. OK. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and move these over so I can put these cards up. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and see how does your person currently see you, Pisces? No, that's not the first question. First question is who or what is coming towards you, Pisces? Who or what is coming towards you for this period of March? And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay. That's that happily ever after kind of feeling could be a family a relationship. It's usually about a romantic relationship. Um, this could be you, your energy, because this is water energy or another water sign. So it could be a uh, cancer Pisces or Scorpio. So let's go ahead and see why that is there for what's coming in for you. Why is the 10 of cups here for what's coming in for Pisces? Yes. Okay. So it says, yes, there, your Ten of Cups is coming in. Uh, your happily ever after is coming in. This could be, like it said, another uh, water sign. Or this is could be you going after your ha um, happy happily ever after. <laughs> I couldn't get it out. Okay. So how does your person currently see you, Pisces? They see you as the um, Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles um, is like a um, like a manifestation of a first step um, towards something learned or um, information received. It's about news. OK, so this is um, Earth energy. You could possibly have it in your chart or this could be the other person, uh, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus. So let's see why this is. Um, why well, your person sees you as a page of pentacles. Um, this also could be um, a younger uh, or immature energy, or there could be an age difference between you. Why is the page of pentacles for how Pisces person sees them? Divine timing. Okay. So um, this could also be will of fortune energy of things kind of tur uh, turning. But there's time. They see that it's time for something to come out, some type of news or a lesson learned, some type of uh, or a change of this energy. But there's something that they're seeing as is um, you might be taking manifesting um, a step towards some type of change, some type of timing is what I'm getting. Like you're taking that first step. OK, that's what I'm getting from that. Let me just get one more card just to make sure. Tell me about this page in Pentacles and Divine Timing. Free will. Yeah, 
So they see you like manifesting a first step towards some type of change to be free, maybe free from them or fr free from this connection or free to go on this adventure out and do new things. So that could be the reason why there's a, a energy here of hiding compromise, you know, wanting to um, clear out the past. Okay, so uh, what do they want from you, Pisces? What does your person want from you? We have the Nine of Swords. So this is about despair, anxiety, sleepless nights, nightmares. Um, this could be stuff that's coming in your dreams. So we'll see why that's there for what they want. I'm feeling like they want to end to this energy because it's a very uh, heavy energy. So well, let's see what comes out. Why is the Nine of Swords here for what Pisces uh, person wants? Winter. Yeah. So winter is like a uh, it's a season we're in. We're about to switch into spring any moment. But this is a cold energy. This is a frozen energy. So they're wanting to um, I'm sensing they're wanting to um, freeze this energy of this despair they want to put in an end to it yeah freeze it out basically okay what action or outcome um, is your person going to take towards you during this period and we have the two of pinnacles um, this is juggling, um, a need for balance. This could involve two different situations, uh, you know, two people or a situation in a person could have to do with finances too, but it's a uh, back and forth energy. So let's see why that's there. Healing. So this is about balance. So this person um, you're thinking about is going to take an action towards balance, um, healing um, from whatever has they've been trying to juggle uh, back and forth, which, which possibly could be this despair. Um, this could be you too, is um, healing from this energy because keep in mind the energies could be flipped. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom of these cards. So we have separation. So um, some of you could be going through um, a separation because it says time apart uh, from your partners on the her, um, horizon. And then we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Uh, feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So some of you could be trying to heal this separation. Maybe one is wanting to um, and the other isn't because there is some... Uh, a little bit of conflicting energy with this pay attention and false person um, energy. So we have B community. You are in a, you are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Okay. So it, what I'm getting is that you're, you're healing from something or you're uh, needing to heal, wanting to go off on a new adventure. Um, and that you are worthy of this um, energy. And then we have here the uh, King of Wands. So this is about taking action uh, towards uh, either your passion, things that you desire, which I see this adventure. Maybe you are wanting to uh, take action towards traveling, but you're wanting to heal from a separation. Or this could be, could be you wanting to heal uh, from a separation. Um, it's under there we did this card over here that says reconciliation. So there could be somebody that you be wanting to reconcile. Or they're wanting to reconcile towards you. You're like you're wanting to heal uh, from somebody that you are in separation with. Again, this uh, fire energy. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or um, Aries. And then we have signs. So we definitely have signs here twice. Okay. So... Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So 
This is you might be receiving signs that you need to take action towards healing from a separation and, you know, go off on your own way um, and adventure out as the King of Wands is very passionate as well. Um, uh, sexual, um, honest, warm. This could be somebody that's coming your way um, also. And then we have here main female. So this could be you. Um, divine Feminine, somebody that is uh, married, um, but uh, possibly maybe in separation from someone, but she is like the head of the household, um, basically. Yeah, and then so we have um, the Nine of Pentacles. This is a very singular energy, material harvest. So um, this is about... Um, being happy and abundant um, as well for the Nine of uh, Pentacles. Uh, Earth energy as well. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So you could be dealing with Earth, uh, Fire, and uh, Water signs. Uh, even though the Air is also here too. So it really can be any of them. But um, in this energy here, I feel that you're uh, possibly healing from a separation. Or you're getting signs that that's what you need to do. And go off and be single. Uh, maybe uh, this is either you or your person you're dealing with is taking action towards this. So this could be reversed. Okay. So that's what I see is that you're in this energy um, of going off on a new adventure. Um, possibly uh, some romance is coming in your way. And uh, I feel like you or your person is um, hiding from compromise due to someone not being truthful in a relationship. That's what I'm getting. Okay, you guys, so um, I hope that resonated with you, Pisces. If it did, please like, comment, or share. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal reading. So if you're interested in that, all that information is going to be below in the description with the link, as well as all these cards and most of the items that you see here are going to be below in the description of the video. So I want to thank each and every one of you, Pisces, for watching. Have a good day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.